Hi, yeah, we officially found Josiah's house. Uh, we're standing right in front of it. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Verbal response is a useful method to avoid confusion. Gee, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna head inside and see what the situation is. How are they going to approach the house? How are you going to approach the house? Yeah, we've got it under control. They don't, but let them do what they want. Okay, I'm counting on you guys. Also, if you see Gare, uh, yeah, he's not in the best mood right now, kinda wants to kill all of you. Also, I think he had reverse puberty. I have... No clue what any of that meant, but okay, understood. Wonderful. All right, guys, let's move in. Wait, we're moving in with Josiah? You, you, you know what? Let, let's do the fighter. Yeah, let's yeah, let, yeah. let's okay. move in. Right, let's, let's go. go. Let's Josiah or something, you should talk about Sailor Moon, Crystal. Sailor Moon is... back? Sailor Moon Crystal, a reboot of the original Sailor Moon series, except it's Crystal. The reboot is going to be a bit closer to the manga this time around, but I want to know because I don't read manga. Oh, everybody says it's manga. Shut up! So far, they've released one episode last week, and they released bi-weekly, so the next episode is going to be next week. The first episode is actually extremely similar to the original first episode from the 90s. There's a young girl named Usagi, finds a cat with a tattoo, fails a test, goes to a jewelry shop. She couldn't possibly be up to something. Evil. Most throws her failed test at what she thinks is a handsome man that definitely isn't suspicious at all. Goes home, gets kicked out of her house because she failed a test. The jewelry shop is actually controlled by some creepy lady disguised as another lady stealing human energy for the bad guy. See, I told you! Saw she somehow got in the house. Creepy tattoo cat finds her, makes her Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon goes and saves the day at the jewelry shop. 
Unintentionally. Evil lady dies. The end. Comparing both the original and this new episode, other than just slight changes in the layout, this is generally the same thing. Now, according to other people that read the manga, this will quickly swerve in another direction compared to the original. As far as art style goes, I'm going to prefer the older one simply because that's what I started with. And also, it's from the it's from the 90s, okay? That speaks for itself. As far as screenwriting goes, it's anime. It's awful. You're you're supposed to expect it to be bad. The story is still as interesting as I can remember from the beginning. Unlike a lot of animes, this one actually gets right into it. It's interesting from the beginning without feeding you more than you can swallow. While I usually don't support CGI and hand-drawn animation, there was a bit of it during the Usagi to Sailor Moon transformation, and honestly, I appreciated it. I still was a little bit weird about it, but it was a great way to take advantage of the technology of today. I also like that this episode actually made a little bit more sense than the original from the 1990s. This one help clear up a little bit of confusion that was there from the get-go with the original series. All in all, this was actually a really good way to start off a reboot of an original series. Yay! Did it! I'm so proud of you, Garrett. You're like a son to me. <laughs> That's a really disturbing thought, but thank you. I bet the story portion of this episode is longer than the actual RPTTA to next scene that we know nothing about. Watching you be tied up, of course, but what else would I be up to? What are you doing in the future, Josiah? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing except taking a look at what a companion of mine might be up to. Let me just tell you, it's quite, it's quite the interesting, quite the interesting watch. Hello, everyone. Today, or rather, in a week from now, when we arrive there, will be the greatest day in RTTTA history. Yeah. Yeah, man. We will destroy Garrett and his wonderful show. Though some of us may be lost through the fearsome battle, we will stand victorious against the forces of idiots. Yeah. Yes, through smoke and flames, we will stand victorious. Let this next week reign in RTTTA history. It's the greatest episode yet. And the last, the day we blow up well, that's how you like that. Much better than a tripe on the other television networks, I'll tell you that for once. That Darth Garrett, he's a, he's a rose in a field of daisies. You're all a bunch of little petunia springs. And then, 